Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. A couple of weeks ago, I was returning home from Sligo. I'd been speaking at a New Wine Bible Week. And uh, as I was, I, I, the, my GPS took me back, the back roads through uh, Leitrim and Cavan and, and diverting a little bit into the north of Ireland as well. And uh, I saw a building on my right hand side on the road and I had to stop and take a selfie at it. It was the Rainbow Ballroom of Romance. And uh, it's a classic part of Irish culture. This dance hall opened up in 1934 as McGivern's Dance Hall. And it was, the locals used to call it the Nissen Hut because a Nissen Hut was a hut made of a sheet of corrugated iron just sort of bent over in an archway. They used them a lot in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the Second World War for military installations. And uh, people called the ballroom the Nissen Hut. And uh, with the arrival of, of electricity in 1952, it was modernized. And, and then they even had running water put in it because up till that point, there had been oil lamps and chemical toilets. And that was when it was called the Rainbow Ballroom. And for over 30 years, that ballroom hosted show bands and dance bands. And, and then during some of the breaks between the bands playing, the owner would sing uh, love songs and uh, the gentlemen were encouraged to take to their dance partners to the bar and buy them a cup of tea or a soft drink because it was, didn't sell alcohol. And it became known as the Rainbow Ballroom of Romance and inspired a book and inspired a film. And in later years, it fell a little bit into disuse and neglect, but is now open again. It's renovated. It's, it still hosts concerts. It's still hired out for weddings and things like that. There's, ex there's an exhibition there. You can visit and look at the history of the place. And, uh, you know, we all need a bit of romance in our lives now and again. God invented romance. I mean, you know, he, he, whenever he created man and woman in the Garden of Eden, he was already talking about marriage. The, the book of the Song of Solomon is based all around romance between a man and a woman. But one of the key things about romance is that we don't look for our romantic partner to meet every single need in our lives. Sometimes people do that. They want their partner to add every single thing that's lacking in their life. And that puts such a weight of expectation on a relationship, it can actually cause marriages to fail. Now, the fact is that God is the greatest uh, relationship that we can ever enter into and God adds so much to our life and if we don't find that relationship with God then we're going to be looking for the things that we should find from God in our boyfriend girlfriend husband wife whatever and what that means is that we put a weight of expectation on them that no human being can possibly bear because we were made with a desire to meet God. We were created with this inbuilt desire to know God and for him to meet the greatest needs of our lives. You know, I, I listen, I, I love being romantic. I, I, love, I love being married. Janice and I have been married now over 36 years. And one of the things that we have discovered is serving God together means that God has already met so many needs in our lives and then together we serve him and that creates a wonderful romance and a wonderful love story. Now, I know the way people go about romance has changed so much over the years. I um, saw so the story of the, ball, the rainbow ballroom of romance, and that was back in a day when rainbow didn't have any connotations like it does now. But, the, you know, back in those days, uh, that, that was cutting edge. N now, uh, I'm sure it just seems like incredibly old fashioned to people who have found so many other ways to go about finding romance. But the fact is, no matter how we find romance, we need to make sure that we have that primary relationship with God himself through Jesus Christ. And then romance can fulfill what romance is supposed to do as we can find that special person and serve God together with them. I pray that in all your relationships today, you will put Christ first. And I pray that God will bless you with people you can love, with people you love, uh, with family, with friends, maybe a spouse. I just pray that God blesses you in all your relationships today, but most of all, in that primary relationship with God himself. Be blessed today and join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.